Welcome to the Master Your Body podcast. This is a podcast for anyone who is interested in improving the way their body looks, feels and moves. Working on your body can be incredibly difficult, but also very confusing and overwhelming. In this podcast, we'll separate the good stuff from the time wasters, giving you only the most valuable, useful and actionable content to help you make progress and master your body. So whether it's building muscle and strength, losing body fat, feeling fitter, healthier or improving your mental health, we'll cover it all here on the Master Your Body podcast. If you want more great content to help you build your body and mind, you can follow me personally on Instagram at andyclement01 or on YouTube, I'm Andy Clements. My name is Andy Clements and welcome to the Master Your Body podcast. Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the uh, Master Your Body podcast. This is episode number 66. My name is still Andy Clements and I am uh, really happy to have you here. If you can hear a bit of um, noise in the background today, it's because I've got my red light on and it's really um, noisy. The fans on it are really noisy, but it's, um, uh, you know, after sunset here and I want to protect my skadian rhythm and make sure I sleep okay. So we just use red lights here. Um, and blue light glasses and all that fun stuff, um, which I've done episodes on before if you're interested in that. Uh, but today we're talking about something different. Today we want to talk about, oh, Happy New Year to you, by the way, if you're listening to this today, uh, because it's the 1st of January 2022. So I hope that 2022 brings you everything you want. Um, but yeah, today we want to talk about is um, uh, this idea of uh, prioritize and execute. Now, um, this is an idea I came across really, really recently, like in the last week or so. Um, and it's something, you know, I've come across similar concepts, but this is like a bit of a penny drop moment for me. Um, and it sort of makes a lot of things make sense. Um, and I think that, um, we can definitely apply it to like a lot of fitness context, which I'm going to talk about in a muscle build and a fat loss context as well. Um, and hopefully give you guys some cool insight and some ideas on how to move forward with your muscle building and or fat loss goals right now. Um, so let me just tell you a bit of the backstory here. So lately I was um, sort of maybe about a week or five, six days ago sort of time, I was, I was starting to feel really overwhelmed with everything I had to do, right? I was starting to feel like ridiculously um, just like snowed under with all the 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 ways in which I was getting pulled from pillar to post. Like, you know, I've got um, sort of... Uh, a lot of, of, you know, high paying clients that need my time and attention right now, you know, so I've got sort of 20 to 30, I don't know the exact number it's between 20 and 30, uh, I'm sure I can count, you know, but, um, but I've got a lot of high paying clients that, that, that de- need, deserve the, my time and attention. So that takes up a lot of time, you know, to be able to program and give them all of the, the support they need and obviously same through personal training sessions and all different things like that um, to make sure they're getting the results that they're paying for. Um, you know, that, so that's that's a big chunk of time on its own. I've also got the podcast I want to push on with. I want to give you guys as much free, uh, good quality content as I can and really plan things out and make sure that I'm giving you um, some actionable stuff that you can actually take and use and, and create a better body with. Um, you know, I've got the YouTube channel, which I really want to push because that's a really cool um, way I think of, of getting free information out to people. Um, you know, I've got Instagram and Facebook. I've got ads for the business. I've got product creation because there's a lot of online stuff I want to get out there. I know a lot of really in-depth stuff because I built one course, um, which was Training Mastery, which you might have heard me talk about on the podcast before. Um, and that went down really, really well. Um, and there's a lot of other ideas that I've got, you know, for the muscle building space and for the fat loss space and for the mindset space that I want to try and, and and get stuff out there at a reasonably low cost for you guys so you can use it to to improve your body and your mind in whatever way you want to do. Um, but with all this stuff and my, um, you know, not to mention like my academic stuff as well, like my university studying and, and all the stuff I'm doing to better myself and all the reading I'm doing and all the other stuff that I'm doing to try to better myself at the same time, plus trying to maintain uh, relationships with friends and family and stuff like that you know it, it, i mean some of this is just being an adult but it, it can feel a little bit overwhelming at times like i don't know if you ever felt that like is this making sense if you have you guys have felt like this before like you just sort of feel like you're being pushed from billet to post all the time and you can't figure out which direction you want to go in so um and i am going to get to the point here i promise uh, but i sort of uh, i was starting to feel really frustrated about this like i was starting to um feel like I just wanted to get moving, but I couldn't decide on the direction I wanted to get moving in, if that makes sense, right? So I was feeling overwhelmed, I was feeling a little bit fed up, and I was kind of getting, you get to that point where you feel like you've got so much to do that you don't even know where to start, so you just, you just want to sack it all off and just sit and watch Netflix, um, and sit and watch 
Um, what was the last series I watched? Oh, it was awesome. It was called Money Heist, or La Casa de Papel in Spanish. Uh, it was a Spanish series. If you haven't watched that, it's, yeah, well, I, I love it. And just uh, watch that and watch uh, The Professor and, uh, and and get back to me on that one. Um, so, yeah, that, that was what I wanted to do instead of doing anything productive and like getting, any, getting anything I actually need to do out there is I just wanted to, you know, just sack it all off and just sit and watch Netflix and waste my time, you know? Um, but it, it was kind of at that moment where I was I was like thirty seconds from just you know throwing my arms up in there and saying fuck this I'm I, I'm I'm out I'm gonna go and waste my time um, that something popped into my head that I'd literally learned that day and I'd heard it when I was listening to one of my audiobooks as I was walking you know just walking around getting some daylight all that stuff um, and it was a, it was a snippet from like one of the principles they were talking about in this audio book I'm listening to called um, Extreme Ownership and it's by a guy called Jocko Willink. Um, and he's, 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 he wrote it with another guy who's called Leif something or other. I can't remember his name, but I, it's definitely written by by one of the writers, of Jocko Willink. Um, so I'm just going to say Jocko Willink for simplicity. Yeah. Um, and if you've never heard of Jocko Willink, he's a very very cool guy. You should go follow him. Um, I don't know, obviously, I don't know him personally. He's just a cool guy. Um, but he's a former uh, Navy SEAL, a U.S. Navy SEAL. Um, and I, I believe he got to a, like a, a decent sort of level in the in the U.S. Navy SEAL surf for a long time, um, and he did you know many tours of like Iraq and, and the Middle East and things like that. And he tells a lot of these stories of Iraq and the Middle East in his book, in this extreme ownership book, right? And um, he taught, basically the point is that he used he tells the stories of like the tactics and the the methods they used to. Um, gain advantages and make specific decisions in these high pressure environments, you know, like the high pressure environments of, of you know, um, war torn Middle East is going to be, you know, you got, you're going to have to be faced with a lot of different things um, and, and have to make a decision very quickly and have to make, you know, hopefully the right decision very quickly. And one point that sort of stuck with me um, when he was talking about the tactics they used to cut through some of the noise and cut through the sort of fog of war and, and be able to, um, make decisions rapidly was um, this principle called prioritize and execute okay so basically he tells a story and again he'll tell it much better than I can but I'm going to sort of recap it for you if you want to know the full story um, in a much more gripping and much more um, you know uh, uh, in-depth way then you should go read the book um, but uh, he basically tells the story of being in this, this sort of dangerous situation in Iraq right it's this really precarious situation where he's on a rooftop he's got sort of little to no cover because there are other higher rooftops around with potential enemy fighters on them and stuff um, and I think one of his uh, one of his you know mates had, had fallen off the end of the roof or something like that you know and it was it was like crazy situation and he had like 15 to 20 things to think about at one time and like 15 to 20 potential options he could take and he had to uh, you know, it was, it was high pressure, I had barely any time to think about it. So he had to make a rapid decision. He had to prioritize what was the most important thing in that one given moment. Um, you know, so that was the prioritize part. What's the most important thing right now? And then the execute part is literally just take action on that one most important thing. You know, the second most important thing could come after. And then the third most important thing come after that. But none of them will matter unless the most important thing isn't dealt with right now. You know, because if the most important thing isn't dealt with right now, you're probably not going to survive in that situation. You're probably going to get killed, probably going to get wounded, whatever's going on. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not, uh, this isn't coming from me. This is coming from the book. You know what I mean? I'm not a Navy SEAL. I'm just sort of, and I know it's an extreme example. I know this is what we're talking about isn't life and death, but it's still relevant. The concept still applies to real to sort of everyday life. You know what I mean? Um, so obviously, you know, the conclusion of this story is obviously he's a badass. You know, he, he saved his mate and he got his team out of there and, you know, he returned victorious and all the rest of the stuff. Um, but that's not the point anyway. You know, the point is this this sort of um, situation of be of overwhelm. You know, the overwhelm I was talking about at the start a few minutes ago here where I was being pulled all over mentally um, as to where I should put my time and attention. This is literally like calm and copy the, the type of thing that I see people going through all the time in the gym um, whether it's um, you know they they uh, are wanting to um, build muscle or lose fat or whatever they're trying to do is any other kind of fitness related goal I see them going through this this uh, sort of cycle all the time right it's probably one of the top two or three most common reasons for people failing in their fitness goals is overwhelm and um, the inability to utilize this principle of prioritize and execute. So this is how I see, um, again, it's not my idea, it's not my concept, it's Jocko Willis and, and his mate Leif, whatever it's called, a concept um, that they wrote about in their book or the Navy SEALs concept in general. But this is how I see it applying to the stuff we talk about on this podcast and on this channel, right? So 
um, you know, people, I think a lot of people in, you know, the gym space, in the fitness space, just everyday people, regular people, not, you know, celebrities or anything, um, and I include myself in this as well, in the past, definitely, um, they, they switch between goals so often that uh, none of their goals ever really have time to materialise. Does that make sense? So, you know, men are particularly bad for this because we will go through phases of um, bulking. You know, we'll go through phases of like, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and put on size, I'm going to try and eat everything in the world. And then as soon as we see ourselves putting on a bit of weight and, you know, the abs start fading and all that sort of stuff, and it's like, oh, now I'm going to go back to cutting. Oh, I don't like the way I don't like, I, wanna get, I don't want to get fat. I want to I wanna stay lean and all the rest of this stuff. And then we, we drop the food right down again. We start with the cardio again and we do all that stuff. And we end up in this never-ending cycle of bulking and cutting and bulking and cutting. And by the time a few years have gone by, We've done loads of these different bulk and equipment cycles, but we don't look any different because we didn't give ourselves enough time to actually let that goal materialize. Does that make sense? So we ended up being distracted by these shiny object syndrome and not actually prioritizing what was really important to us at that one time. You know, So prioritize what is your long-term goal and then allow the short-term to um, sort of guide, uh, so, sorry, allow the long-term to guide what happens in the short-term. Does that make sense? So so that's how I see the, the first part of this applying. Now, there's other scenarios to this as well. You know, getting so overwhelmed with the sheer amount of choice that you have just for a training program. Um, you know, so people that aren't that experienced in the gym, I see this a lot. You know, people that have um, uh, either never trained properly before or never been in a gym before or just are a bit confused about what the what kind of workout plan they should follow. Um, you know, when you go into a gym, especially a, a reasonably good gym that's got a good, lot of equipment, there's so much choice of what to do in there. I see loads of people just bouncing from one piece of equipment to the next and they're just seeing and they just try and use as many pieces of equipment they can before they leave. You know what I mean? But the, the thing is, they don't use any of them well. They, they just sort of do a few reps or a couple of sets on one thing and then they go on to another thing and do a couple of sets on that and then they'll bounce around and do a bit of this and a bit of that. And it's like, well, you may as well have stayed at home, oh my God, for a walk or run the fucking treadmill. You know what I mean? You've not really worked. You've not trained. You've just gone to the gym. And that's the difference between training and going to the gym. So, um, you know, that that's a good place to apply this prioritize and execute uh, principle this methodology right because it's like right okay what's the most important thing and again you've got to be guided by the goal what are you trying to achieve like are you trying like are you trying to achieve overall muscle building trying to achieve overall fat loss or both body recomposition that sort of stuff um uh, and if so then you can start narrowing it down okay so what am i trying to achieve over the next month what am i trying to achieve in this one workout what's this one workout's goal you know and that can sometimes be guided by the uh, amount of time to train per week so if you've got three workouts a week then a full body workout might not be the worst idea it's like okay so it's going to be a full body workout um i need to hit these muscles i need to hit my shoulders my chest my back my lats um, my hamstrings and my uh, quads and maybe my glutes. Um, so there needs to be an exercise for each one of those. Um, and that's, you know, seven or eight exercises over the, the whole workout. And then every single time you're in the gym, you're doing an exercise, a compound, big lift for each one of those, you know? Um, and this, but again, you know, we, we can go through that in another podcast in more detail of how to actually set up that stuff. And, you know, and I won't leave you hanging. I'll give you stuff that you can actually use to set up those workouts in and themselves. But the thing is, you've got to prioritize what you're trying to achieve in that workout and use this stuff again, the, the, this principle that's coming from the, the sort of Navy SEALs in, the, in America. They're talking about something that's really, really important for anything in life, in my opinion. You know, this, this, the stuff that they use in these high pressure situations can be translated into much lower pressure stuff that we're talking about here. So prioritize what's the most important thing and then do it. That's literally it. That's the, that's the whole thing. As I understand it, that's the whole thing they're saying. Prioritize the most important thing, then do it. Don't overthink it. Don't don't talk yourself out of it because that's one of the, the, the things that, you know, I've been guilty of certainly in the past is talking myself out of what I've planned. You know, go into the whiteboard or go into my, P, my PC or my laptop or whatever it is and um, planning out the, the most detailed in-depth amazing plans in the world and then in a week i've stopped doing it because i want to do a different thing like no stick to it just just prioritize that and execute without overthinking and without straying from that goal um so that's a, you know a couple of scenarios in which I, I see this this um prioritize and execute principle applying but there's more than that as well you know it could be even broader so you don't know I mean, let's let's say 
you know, you don't know what kind of foods to eat. Let's say you um, don't know, you know, you should improve your sleep, but you don't know how. Um, you know, what type of exercise you should be doing. Should you be weight training? Should you be doing cardio? How much cardio should you be doing? How much weight training should you be doing? You know, how to track your progress. How often should you be tracking your progress? Should you weigh yourself? Should you weigh yourself in the morning, in the evening? Should you do progress photos, measurements? You know, you can easily see how you can get overwhelmed with all this stuff. But again, prioritize and execute. In all these um, scenarios, all these different things, this, the answer is the same. Prioritize. What's the most important thing? So, you know, the prioritize part is figure out what the most important thing you can do right now. If that's picking a goal, then pick a goal and commit to it. Don't flip between bulking and cutting or flip between fitness and strength or flip between one and the other and the other and the other. Pick one thing. Go at it hard. Once you achieve that thing, then you can think about if you want to add a little bit to it and sprinkle a bit here and sprinkle a bit there. But if you're just starting out, which I think most people that listen to my podcast are relative beginners um, or, or intermediates at best. I don't think there's many pro bodybuilders listening to this podcast, to be honest. You know what I mean? Because they, they kind of know their stuff already. Um, but... I think that uh, if, if you're trying to achieve a certain goal, just hit that goal and just don't stray from it until you've got it. And then you can think about the next thing. So prioritize that one goal, pick it and then go for it and don't stray from it. Um, and if you if you don't know what the most important thing, if, you, if you're thinking, well, this is all great, Andy, but I don't know actually know what the most important thing for me right now. I know what my goal is. Um, you know, my goal is muscle building or my goal is fat loss or my goal is fitness, whatever. Um but I don't actually know what the most important thing for me to prioritize right now is, then cool, like, I've got your back. I'm going to be, over the next few days, I'm going to be putting out um, more podcast episodes on how to get started with um, this goal, how to get started with this goal. What's the most important things you need to think about with this? What's the most important things you need to think about with that? So we'll do a fat loss one. We'll do a muscle building one. Um, it, We'll probably just leave it at that, to be honest with you. We'll probably just do a fat loss and muscle building one, so you've got them two, because I'm going to try and keep this fairly body composition focused. There's going to be elements of health and mindset and stuff that we spoke about before, but I'm going to try and keep this body composition. So there'll be a fat loss one and muscle building one um, over the next few days. So if you're listening to this um, more than a couple of days in advance, you probably see them already. So go and listen to the fat loss um, uh, one if you are interested in fat loss and you've decided that's my goal but I don't know how to get started then I'll title it how to get started in fat loss um if it's muscle building go and listen to the how to get started in muscle building prioritize that and that is what uh, what I'm going to give you in them in those episodes is how to um you know the, what the most important thing is how to get started what the most important thing to prioritize is so that all you have to do is go and execute does that make sense hopefully that makes sense um yeah, so so I'm, I'm going to put those podcast episodes out. I'm also going to put some similar stuff on my YouTube channel, which is just Andy Clements on YouTube. Um, if you prefer to watch videos and stuff, then um, you know I'm going to put some stuff out like that because I want to help people get started and know what to do, so that all they have to do is go and do it, which is not an easy thing. Um, you know, execution is still hard, um, but at least you know what you need to do. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's the prioritize part, and then. Uh, execute is just taking action right so don't overthink it don't stray from one to the other to the other um plans are awesome like i love making plans but they mean nothing until you take action on them you know you can make the best plan in the world you could pay thousands and thousands of pounds or thousands of dollars or thousands of monopoly money or whatever the fuck you use right you could pay thousands of whatever to um the best diet coach or the best training coach or the best whatever coach in the world to do you this all singing all dancing sparkly fucking plan um that will give you everything you need but if you don't actually do what it says it's not worth the paper it's written on does that make sense like it's not worth anything to you because you aren't doing what it tells you to do like this podcast this this is I, like uh, over the last 66 episodes i've put a lot of time and effort and energy into trying to help you to know what your uh to know what your most important priorities are in order to change your body. But if you're not taking action on them, it's not worth very much to you. So I hope, like, you know, you're not paying anything for this. This is free, obviously, unless you've got a Spotify membership or whatever you're paying for that. But, uh, you know, this I'm not getting paid for this. I'm doing this to help you. So um, this still isn't worth very much to you unless you take an action on it. So take action on it, man. Like, like, just go and do it because this is why we do this thing. We do this to help you. So go and take action on it um, every single day. Like, don't overthink it. Don't stray from one to the other. Just go and take action. 
every single day and don't miss. Like if you start missing days, um, you're starting to get out of the habit of it. So don't miss. So, I mean, I've kind of drilled that point home fairly hard now. Hopefully you're still with me. Hopefully it all makes sense. Um, and and it, it's, it, it sounds like something that's useful to you. Um, when I applied this concept, this prioritize and execute concept to my business, you know, and going back to the start when I was talking about that sort of sense of overwhelm that I was feeling when I was about ready to go and suck it all off and watch Netflix. Um, when I uh, sort of applied this principle and I sat down and I thought about it and then I wrote stuff down and I got it all out of my head, um, my it was very clear. It became very clear what I had to do. Um, and so I started doing it. I started applying it. I started going hundred percent at it and I just didn't overthink it. And I just started going at it, you know, and that's what I'm continuing to do now. Um, and you know, things are starting to move again. Things are starting to, to shift and change again. And I noticed the shift in my emotional state was like a 180. I like my emotional state, my mental state. I completely picked everything up, um, because I was feeling so sort of despondent before because I was overwhelmed. I didn't know what to do. Um, and as soon as I got that clarity, as soon as I got that, um, yeah, well, that clarity, you know, it just, I, I, I just ended up feeling so much better because I knew what I had to do. And all I had to do at that point then was execute and just do it every single day. Um, and, you know, again, go back to the fitness context when people, um, you know, as I, I, my experience, my clients, you know, over the years, I've had probably thousands at this point of, uh, of personal training clients do this in a fitness setting. And they actually get clear on what they want to do. And that's a big uh, part of my job as a coach, you know, it's, it's to help people understand what is it you want to achieve. Like, let's prioritize the biggest thing um, and then I'll help you execute on it every single day. Um, and a lot of that's accountability and all that sort of stuff. But when they do it in a fitness setting, their their bodies start to change in ways they've literally never seen before. And because they've never seen it before, they didn't think it was possible for them. You know, they've seen all these before and afters of, you know, this much change, this many pounds dropped, whatever, in this much time, you know, in six weeks, 12 weeks, whatever. But they didn't think it was possible for them. They thought other people did that. As soon as they start seeing their bodies change in this, in this small time frame, all of a sudden they go from sceptical to committed. Um, they go from, uh, you know... Uh, um, sort of a non-believer in <laughs> that sounds really religious it's not meant to be religious but they go from like a non-believer to a believer you know what i mean um yeah so so they they start to see things changing very very rapidly because but the reason is because they're focused on one thing they've not got their attention split across 17 different things trying to make all these things happen at the same time they're just focusing on one thing at a time and then one that one thing actually gets done and then they move on to the next thing and then that one thing actually gets done and things actually start getting done instead of um, you know, splitting your attention across all these different things. And it's like, it, it brings to mind a, a quote that I read at the start of a book. I'm looking at it now. It's on my, it's on my floor in the living room here that I read a, a few years ago um, called The One Thing. I think it's by Gary Keller. I can't tell because of the red light here. Um, but I, I think it's by a guy called Gary Keller. Um, and it, it, I, can remember the, I can't remember that much from, from, the, from the book, but it's basically about this concept of, of focus on one thing and then go and do it. Um, and it, so it's the, the quote at the start of it was, um, I think it was something like, he who chases two rabbits is sure to catch none, you know, and that's a bit of an old timey quote, you know what I mean? But if you try and do two things at once, you're probably not going to get either done. Chase one thing, get one thing done and then move on to the next thing. Um, so if that's hopefully um, the one thing I can leave you with today. It's that prioritize one thing and then execute on it and then move on to the next. Um, so whatever that means to you, apply it. Um, and hopefully that will uh, help you to move things forward as we move into 2022. And like I said, over the next few days, I'll be putting out some more um, hopefully really helpful stuff to help you get started on a fat loss program, help you get started on a muscle building program. So you pick which one's right for you and we'll get started with that. And um, hopefully you'll uh, you'll learn some cool stuff and be able to apply it to your life. Um, hopefully that was useful, guys. Um, that's pretty much it for today for episode 66, the first episode of 2022, which I hope will be a dynamite year for us both. Uh, me and you and um, if you like that please subscribe to the podcast please um, check me out on YouTube on Instagram send uh, pop, pop a little screenshot of this podcast on your Instagram story and tag me in at Andy one um, and yeah other than that have a mint day and I will speak to you next time cheers
Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Master Your Body podcast. Just before you take off, if you enjoyed this episode, I'd love it if you could take a screenshot of it on your phone and add it to your Instagram story to spread the word. If you tag me in it at andyclements01, I'll repost it as well. Don't forget to subscribe for new episodes of the Master Your Body podcast every week, and I'll catch you next time for another episode.